The approach for placing a femoral venous line is in the femoral triangle. The approach is similar for placement on either the left or right side. You will encounter different structures as you scan through the leg. The thigh has a variety of very strong and thick muscles. Here you can see we are oriented in the transverse plane. The indicator is pointing towards the patient's right. Here you can see thigh muscles. Thigh muscles are some of the strongest in your body. Here you can see them striated and thick. The femur is a hyperechoic structure that appears rounded in cross-section. Here you can see it deeper into the image. The femoral nerve is another important structure to be aware of when looking with ultrasound to guide a femoral venous line. Remember the acronym NAVAL? It stands for Nerve, Artery, Vein, Empty Space, and Lymphatics. It's a way to remember what structures are lateral to medial in the groin. Here is a view of the femoral nerve. It is lateral to these vessels and appears hypoechoic with a hyperechoic center. Here is a view of the femoral nerve and long axis. Here you can see the relationship between the fascia and the nerve and the vessels underneath. Lymph nodes are another structure that you will encounter when ultrasounding the groin. Lymph nodes are heterogeneous structures that are rounded and blind ending. Here you can see a lymph node. The artery and vein travel closely together. Sometimes the vein is lateral to the artery. You may need to compress the vessels or use Doppler to be able to tell them apart. Here you can see the femoral vessels in transverse or short axis view. The artery is more lateral, more round, the vein should be more medial, and more oval. And here you can see the operator clearly compressing this vein while the artery maintains its shape. You can also use Doppler here to tell the difference. Here is the Doppler signature of the femoral vein low velocity with a smoldering waveform compared to here. This is the Doppler signature of the femoral artery. High speed, velocity, pulsatile spikes. Now let's take a look at the long axis view of the vessels. This is when the probe indicator is pointing towards the head. They will appear more like tubes instead of circles. Here's the femoral artery and here's the femoral vein. Here is a view of the femoral vein and long axis with Doppler. This is where the femoral vein splits to go deeper. You again can see this low velocity pattern. Here you can see just how close the femoral artery and vein are to each other as this operator fans through in long axis. Vein, artery. Vein is on top here, artery is just deep. And that's why ultrasound is so useful to guide central lines. You can ensure that you're staying in the more superficial safe place of this vein instead of diving into that artery. Super! You are an expert on the sonographic anatomy of the groin. You are ready to put all this information towards placing a central line in the femoral vein with ultrasound.